Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer operation and upgrade videos. In this video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate or reset your battery. Uh, sometimes your battery is showing as 100% charged. You'll be on it for 15 minutes and it'll show 10% charge. Now, it's possible your battery is bad and needs to be replaced, or it's possible your battery is okay, it's just not reading the correct charge level. I'll show you how to calibrate your battery now to make sure that it's being accurately read. Before we get going guys, please remember to like the video if it does help you out. If you think anyone else can benefit, please share it with them. If you do need to leave me a question, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer as I do try to keep those updated. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I try to check those a couple times a day at least. For those of you that want to support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do so. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the project. Okay guys, so the fastest, easiest method perhaps we're gonna have you try first. We're gonna come down here, bottom left to your search bar, type in device manager. Uh, best option is up here, Device Manager under Control Panel. We'll left click on that. You'll see one of your top options here is Batteries. Click on the arrow to expand that choice. And then you'll see your AC adapter and you'll see your battery driver right here. You're going to right click on the battery driver and hit Uninstall Device. After uninstalling your device, you're going to come down to your Start menu, hit Power, and restart your computer. After restarting your computer, Come down here, type in updates, and then your best match here, check for updates under system settings, left click on that. Uh, it will say either that you're missing important updates, you're, you're going to install them now, uh, or it could say no updates are available, but if it says that, there'll be a button here uh, manually checking for updates. Make sure you click on that. Don't uh, believe it when it says there's no updates. Manually click on that button here. Uh, that says check for updates. But either way, um, if your updates start running automatically, or if you see updates here and you have to click on install now, or if you have to manually click on the button that says check for updates, do that. Get all your updates run. Uh, that should recalibrate the battery driver, uh, which should make the battery uh, read properly. If that doesn't get your battery life a little more accurate, we'll move on to another way, number two that I'm going to show you today, uh, to recalibrate your battery so it reads accurately. We're going to come down here to the bottom left search bar again. We're going to type in control panel. Best match comes up here. The control panel app, we're going to left click on it. You're going to see hardware and sound, left click on it. And then you're going to see power options. We'll left click on that. Over here, you'll hit change plan settings. And then here you'll see change advanced power settings. We'll click on that. After this window comes up, you're going to scroll down until you see the battery option. Hit the plus sign to expand the battery options. We're going to change a few things here. Uh, here, first of all, it'll say low battery action. We're going to hit the plus button to expand that. Here you see on battery and plugged in. Right now it's selected do nothing. Click on the blue wording and a drop down menu will appear. Click on that drop down menu and it has sleep, hibernate, do nothing, shut down. We're going to set it to hibernate. And we're going to do the same to plugged in. We're going to click on it, drop down, select to hibernate. So that's what you're doing under low battery action. We're setting on battery and plugged in both to hibernate. So just so it's easier to watch on the tutorial guides, I'm going to hit the minus sign now, bring that back up, keep this clean so you can see what we're doing. The next thing we're going to go for is the low battery level. We're going to hit the plus sign to expand that. And again, you have two options, on battery and plugged in. Make sure those are both set to 10% and you would do so the same way. Click on the blue number, you would get a drop down and then you can select it to whatever you want. So make sure those are both set to 10%. When you're done that, we'll go ahead, we'll minus this, keep this clean again. The third thing we're gonna check is critical battery level. We're gonna expand that with the plus sign. Right now, on battery and plugged in are both reading 5%. So that's what you would want to change yours to, 5% for on battery and plugged in. After doing all those, you would hit apply. And then after applying it, you would hit OK. 
Now that way your computer is going to stay on while you use it. Um, it'll drain the battery down and then hopefully again after the battery is drained, uh, you would recharge the battery fully. That would recalibrate it, resetting it, making it so that you can read correctly your battery level. The third and final way that I'll show you how to do this on this video, uh, we'll come back here to where we were earlier. Uh, here you'll see on battery and plugged in, uh, two options for each. Uh, turn off the display. Uh, I like setting those for five on battery and 10 minutes plugged in. Uh, you can set them to five and five, 10 and 10. Just make sure that they're low like that, five and or 10. As far as the option, put the computer to sleep. You can set these both to 10 or 15, 10 and or 15. But yeah, make sure these are either both set to five or 10 on top, uh, 10 or 15 on the bottom. Click on save changes. And hopefully that'll get your battery reading correctly. So those are the three methods I'm going to show you today for how to calibrate your battery. Uh, the last two methods, well really all three, are so you can keep using your computer while you're calibrating it. If that doesn't seem to work for you, you can always just leave your computer alone, let it drain down to complete zero, it'll shut off, and then plug it in, leave it charging overnight, maybe for a day, all the way back up to 100, and that should calibrate it as well if you don't care about having to use it while you're calibrating it. Thank you so much for watching guys. As mentioned before, please remember to like and share if this does help you out. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer tutorials like this. And feel free to check out the FAQs below in the description or leave me a question or comment if you need to. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.